Welcome to another episode of Get the Food Out of Here. Freddie Rubino here with my wife, Christine. Hey, everybody. Today, we're dedicating this show to the college kids. Drink cheap wine and pay your tuition. Just take a loan out and never pay it. Anyway, the thing that college kids eat the most, I don't care if it's law school, medical school, community college, what do they eat, Chris? Ramen. Ramen noodles. But just to say. Go ahead, just to say. You don't got to be a college kid to like ramen. You don't have to be Jewish to love levies. Remember that commercial? No. Okay, because you're young. I married a young woman. Anyway, um, so... It's only like a couple of cents to make these, but we are going to make it the same amount of time as they boil it and eat this poison, but we're gonna make it into a delicious lo mein. Oh yeah? Let me tell you something. When my kids went to college, we showed them this, and they made it for their uh, friends in college, and they were like, this is fantastic. We started making it. I make it once a month, twice a month. That's how good it is. First thing you do. Guys, share this, please. Is you share this. You take the ramen out. Look at that. Looks like a weave. Looks like Billy D. Williams. Okay? You take it. It's already in two pieces. I don't know why. And then you crack it in half. Okay? Crack. Look at that. Okay, doesn't matter. Now what we do. But what else do you do? <clears throat> I'm gonna pour water in it. What else do you do? Oh, there's the packet in there. <clears throat> okay, see this packet? Throw it in the garbage. Throw it in your neighbor's yard. Okay, when the raccoons come, they come in your neighbor's yard looking for this. You open it a little, throw it in the neighbor's yard. This is all the poison, okay? That's just noodles. <laughs> Okay, that's in the garbage, as we say, garbage. Okay, we're gonna take boiling hot water and pour it over it, just to cover it. That's it, look. Now you wait approximately six to seven minutes and let this just steam. I already have one done, look. Just in case. Just in case this isn't done yet. It's like your wife when she's getting ready, right? It's supposed to be ready in six minutes. Three hours later, they come out like a, like what they did. Okay, so now it takes only a couple of more ingredients. Your own ingredients. A slice of onion. Now, how much onion do you put in per packet? I put in about a tablespoon. Who cut this onion? Me. Look at this. What? It's not cut the right way. I cut some pieces off. This is a, this is an infamia. I just got my finger in the shot by accident. In the what? In the shot. Look at this. Look at this. Why? You, you ruined the whole onion. I did not. I cut a big piece off. What are you cutting these little slices for? I cut you. Cut a big piece. You ruined this onion. Let I, me just say. It's my kitchen. To all you onion lovers of America, my wife is a killer. A killer of onions. Okay, so listen. This is especially like if, if you don't have good Chinese food around, this is good Chinese. No, right? no. Why? It's not called Chinese anymore, it's Asian. No, see. Let me just say one thing. I go to the corner, I get an egg roll. You know what the place is called? Chinese Luck Luck. And they know they're Chinese. Uh, they know. All right, so now I gotta do this. Look what you've done to this onion. We're gonna cut an onion really small. We're only putting a quarter of a cup. A quarter of, no, what, a tablespoon. Jesus. What, well, not Jesus. Jesus doesn't cook like that. Okay, we're doing a tablespoon of onion. I'm gonna do this now, too. You do that. Look at this. You don't know how to do this. No. And you know something? You ruined this onion. Okay. Buy me a new one. I'll buy you an onion for your birthday. How about that? Oh, what do you got, Chris, for a birthday? An onion. Oh, it's a beautiful onion. Okay, look, I don't waste. But you're only using a tablespoon, so what's the difference? Why, that's, a, that's a tablespoon? Yeah, it's more than a tablespoon. I like the way you think. I like when I tell you something's more than a tablespoon. 
You say, oh, it's not even a table. Sometimes you just say, okay, to make the person feel better. Really? Yeah. And one clove of garlic. Okay? One tablespoon of onion, one clove of garlic. At least you couldn't ruin the garlic. Now, if you like a lot of onion, by all means, use more onion. Put another thing of garlic in it. Who cares? You're right. You know what? When you're right, you're right. Okay, look, I got the onion. I have the garlic. Look at this. This is already soft. Not soft enough yet, though. But not soft enough. Did you take out a, a, a measuring cup? I did not. Why? What do you need a measuring cup for? For the soy sauce. The soy sauce is a couple of tablespoons, we said. Two no, tablespoons. We didn't. No, we didn't. Yes, you did. I said a quarter of a cup. A quarter for one package? Yes. No, that's for two packages. No, it's not. Just use a quarter of a cup. If people, I'll do a quarter of a cup. People want less, they can put less. They want more, they can put more. If you're watching your salt, get low sodium soy sauce. Yes, get low sodium. If your in-laws are coming over, pack it with salt. Pack it with salt and anchovies in case they're allergic. Okay. These are just the basic ingredients. That's it. I'm going to turn this on. Where's the, the middle one. All right. You don't want to put everything in at the same time, okay? Now, getting back to these, even though they're soft, it's not ready yet. No. Right, Chris? They have to be really tender. Right. It's got to be just like you're going to eat it right now. With the soup. Right. So even though they look like they're ready, taste one. It's got to be like six minutes. Not yet. It's got to be, it can't be al dente. It's got to be that. So that's why we have one already. Okay, this is drained. And it's beautiful. It's one packet. And now we're going to cook it. Like well, well, let's go. You're we're talking, also gonna you add, a lot of talking going I'm on. Out. We're also going to add some peas. Look, it says just picked. What do you mean just picked? It's frozen. It was in the shelf for two weeks. It's lot. They should call this, we lied. We're liars. Anyway, I'm lying. I told you a lie, right, Chris? You're used to it. That's not a nice thing to say. Well, you... Men don't lie. You exaggerate. We embellish. I'm going to embellish it. Okay. There's one... I think you're right. One tablespoon of oil is all you need. Yeah. I think you're right about that. Okay, so we're gonna put the onion in first. Ooh. That's more than a tablespoon of onion. That's more than a tablespoon of onion. And we're gonna put the peas in. What about and the garlic? The garlic's gonna go in last, because garlic burns. Look how many peas I'm putting in. Just a handful. A handful, look. And a half. Of course, more. More, honey, more. Okay. I'm using your wooden thing. Okay. I wish you okay, wouldn't. we're going to put this on a little lower, right? Medium I told heat. you not to put it on high heat. Medium heat. But listen, all we're doing is sweating these onions. We're just talking about a minute, okay? All right, One put, minute. All right, put the garlic in now. Not yet. Yes. That's been a minute. Oh, my, you don't put, oh my God. Honey, if anybody knows what a minute is, you should know. You understand? Look, look how good this looks already. The garlic is not going to be cooked enough if you don't put it in. The, the, the venom in this woman's. That's because it's you I have to deal with. New, uh, new uh, press? Yes. When are they going to invent the press that just comes out and you don't have to do this? Huh? Maybe you don't squeeze hard enough. Oh, I squeeze, baby. What are you telling people I don't squeeze hard enough? What are you letting out all my secrets? Can't, can't there be any mystery in this in this situation that we have called a marriage? Whoa! Okay, so look at this. We're gonna put it up. It's, it's gotta be on medium heat, okay? Look at the mess. Look what? at the splattering mess you're making. You're a splattering mess. That's what they used to call me in, uh, in college. Splattering mess. 
anyway, okay. So now this is almost done. All we need to do now is the ramen noodles. Now let me see this. Is this done? Those are done. All you gotta do is this, look. You drain them. Drain them for a few minutes. That's it. And these are drained already. So we're gonna put them in. Honey, we're gonna put them in with this and we're done. First toss the, the noodles in the oil and the vegetables. What does that mean? Put the noodles in, toss it around, and then put the soy sauce in. Yeah, baby. You smell that garlic? Mm-hmm. You don't need salt for this. The soy sauce is very salty. The soy sauce is salty enough. If you wanted to add some heat, you could put a little sriracha in or some chili yeah. flakes. That's a good idea. But you don't like heat. You don't like it hot, honey, do you? No. Okay, now we put the soy sauce in. Now you can put this in. Try and get it all the way around. You might have to add more if you like it more, but my wife is pretty good with these measurements. You see how it's turning brown already from the soy sauce? That's what you're doing. Look at that. that. Can you believe that this is a ramen noodle package? Can you believe that? It's already basically done. It's done. Basically, because the noodles are cooked already. Correct? The noodles are cooked already. Correct? Yes. Why don't you answer me? I don't pay attention. This isn't the bedroom. Answer me. I don't pay attention to you anymore. Okay, so the noodles are pretty cooked, so it's not like you have to cook them. Now, instead of a bowl of that poison... Actually, I wish you would have rather put this in a bowl. I think eating out of a bowl is more fun than eating out of a plate. It's more fun? It is. Like when you have big ziti and you put it in a bowl. How about a toilet bowl? It's more fun. Is a toilet bowl fun? No. There's nothing fun about it. Look at this. Wouldn't you rather have your kid eating this? Listen, it's been 10 minutes from start to finish. Look at this. It's 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 garlicky. It's Asian tasting. It's a hot meal. Mmm. Listen to me. Everybody in Florida, the Chinese food sucks, most of it. If you really miss some decent New York lo mein, this is the closest you'll get to it. And look, look up, up look up a fried rice recipe too, it's really good. Right. Now, sometimes I'll have those little, the tiny shrimp that are pre-cooked and frozen. I'll throw them in with the onion. Now you have a protein. Don't cook those too long because then they'll get rubbery. Just, you want to heat them through. Right. If you put the shrimp in. Mmm. Freddy Rubino here. Eating delicious, homemade lo mein, very few ingredients. Listen to me. 10 minutes and done. One onion makes about five or six packets. One clove of garlic makes 10, one head of garlic makes 10 packets. One container of soy sauce makes 50 packets. And you could double and triple this recipe in the same pan. Right. So listen, if you're having someone over, you college kids, you're having your, your girlfriend over, or your girlfriend somewhere else and you're having your other girlfriend over. It's like when you made me the fettuccine Alfredo. And you were mine. That's how you got me. Mm. Oh my God, this is so good. Mm. Okay. Ray would be out here. Loving the hot dinner for you college kids. If you have someone in college, send them this video immediately. And send them money, you cheap skates. And listen, the nice retired couple can make this one night for dinner too. Instead of dog food, right? Because Biden doesn't have anybody making money anymore. So that's another thing. I know a lot of people are hurting. This meal costs 80 cents. 
I love you guys. Chris, you love them? I certainly do. Go to fredrubino.com. Kansas City, September 18th. This Thursday, Villa Roma. Uh, Clearwater, Florida. Parkland, Florida, here I come. I love you guys. A salute.